Looks like, let's see. Oh, and we're off, sorry. Ooh, bit of a scuffle there in the middle over the ball. Michigan State came away with it, though. On our center court, JMU with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players left against, three. yeah, three players from Townsend. Two minutes left in that game. Uh, JMU still only up by one. It's like Grand Valley with a pretty significant man advantage over UWP on the far court, still up two points. And, okay, Central Michigan, I believe, so Central Michigan three points to zero against University of Kentucky. He's had a mid-air collision over in the, that mid-court. Yeah, another Adam Smasher. Yep. Another mid-air ball collision. Saginaw really dragging out the shot clock here. Got a little bit of a dispute. Disputed call here for a catch, maybe? Yes. Number 16 off to the corner. Number 16 off the corner is really, really claiming a catch. And, um, okay, someone, okay, so, okay, Saginaw Valley did agree. They, they just got a little confused as to whether it was off a ball or not. But uh, seems to me that they've they sorted out and they're going to just, they're just going to do a little bit of a reset. Yeah, you don't want to charge it. You're, you're on an iPhone. You have a different charger. Oh. When, uh, when we go down for food, we can get my charger. Why am I saying this live on the air? Timmy Hugh ran a perfect tournament years ago. No surprises and win is good. Thank you very much, Spencer. A lot of time and effort put in here by uh, the current team and the alumni themselves. And really all of the teams here have been really, really, really helpful. We had tons of help from captains, lots of people willing, uh, lots of alumni from different teams willing to assist with officiating. It has been a very, very smooth tournament. Uh, so can, thank you very much and congratulations to everyone involved. Back to live action. Oh man, and some, looks like on the center court, we are done with the first half. It does look like JMU is able to steal a second point from Townsend. So Townsend is gonna go into the second half. Looks like they're gonna have about 26 minutes in that second half, one minute of layover time. Uh, so they're gonna be going into that second half down two against JMU. On uh, the far court, looks like we might've hit halftime. Yeah, I believe we did hit halftime uh, and still Grand Valley up two to nothing. And at, let's see, looks nine minutes, 30 seconds left on the court over here. Uh, Central Michigan up three against Kentucky. Out, so we're good on this. Great, so the, the stream for the Central Michigan Kentucky game is up and running again. Apologies, like I said, we're juggling phones in and out, um, trying to make sure we get as much of the games covered as we can. Uh, another thing I'd like to comment, Ben, because, uh, and you know, I think I've talked about it once or twice so far. Uh, this is my first time kind of getting back into college dodgeball since the change with the starting run up. Now, for those of you that have been around for a while, Spencer, I know you'll remember, used to be all of the balls were put dead center on the court. Both teams made a rush for there, which was incredibly dangerous. We had a lot of collisions, a lot of pretty severe injuries off of that starting rush. Uh, the new rush, which I, I mean, you've seen, you're watching the stream where balls are placed, some in the middle and some on uh, the boundary for each team's neutral zone. We haven't had any so far, knock on wood, no major collisions, no major incidents off that starting rush. Do you like that new starting rush more than the original, Ben? Um, I think it is safer. I don't like how the balls are live on both uh, on both ends. I wish that, uh, that you had to still clear the ones that are on your side, on your uh, neutral zone line. I wish you had to clear those, but the ones in the, f the four in the middle, I, I wish that those were live automatically so that, I, I don't know, I, it, it also seems like there's a mad rush and then four or five players get out immediately on the opening rush anyway. Um, we had a request from Megan to tell us the score. I'm going to just pan right up. It is currently 2-0 Saginaw. Yeah, 2-0 for Saginaw. Uh, looks like three minutes. Three minutes left in the half. Uh, these four games were scheduled to start at the same time. 
but because of the way our round of 16 worked, there were quite a few teams that had played a game last round uh, and then immediately had this game, uh, Michigan State being one of those. So Michigan State asked Saginaw if they minded uh, delaying the game a few minutes just to give the Michigan State players a chance to catch their breath, stretch, and get a drink of water. So Saginaw Valley was nice enough to let that happen. I kind of found that funny considering they took the last game against Bowling Green. After the first three points, they just started taking it as a joke. So, I don't know. They didn't really play that hard at the end. So. Yeah, but still, they needed time to, you know, catch their breath, talk about some strategy because they hadn't had a chance to see Saginaw Valley play in the in the previous round. Um, so, I mean, it was, it was a nice offer for Saginaw to let them do that, I think. All right, looks like over on the far court, I can't quite make out the time, but Grand Valley is up 3-0 against UWP. Um, I mean, no big surprise there. I think a lot of people saw that coming. Uh, we are, it looks like we're about to start the second half of uh, Townsend versus, okay, versus uh, JMU on the middle court. Uh, again, uh, I'll try to, try to update the score as often as I can because I know there's no other way to see it. Thank you, Spencer, for the score update as well. It is, in fact, 2-0 to zero, uh, in favor of Saginaw Valley. Yeah, Jazzy, or, uh, Alex, yeah, it's, uh, how much time is left in Saginaw? I can't, I can't see. Oh, uh, 2-29. Yeah, the uh, court's getting in the way a little bit there. All right, all right, all right. I want to say I saw a card be thrown there. I, I don't know who got carded. Um, I had a uh, – did Wait, see – here in the Saginaw had, game? I believe. I had Felix pull out his little notepad, and he was writing stuff down, and there's now a ball in the middle, so I think there was a ball dispute. Um, and I think someone got carded, but I don't know if oh, it was a red. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can figure out what happened there. Saginaw, was there a card there? Oh, nope. nope, they're off. Sorry. Thought I was going to – didn't realize we were ready to go there. Yeah, well, uh, I'll try to figure out what happened there. Uh, like I said, Spencer, we've got uh, two minutes, 15 seconds left in the Saginaw game. Uh, this is, again, just the first half of this game. Uh, two of the other games, ooh, sorry, had, uh, had Jazzy playing around in my pockets there. Uh, we've got two other games that are in the second half. It's like a... A violation of uh, shot clock. By Michigan. Shot clock violation on Michigan, giving all the balls over to Saginaw. So, you know, I, I, I made the comment last round, Ben. I said, you know, this, this next, I said this first round of eight should be uh, some closer games. But so far, it's looking very similar to the second half of our first round of 16. Uh, every game currently being played is a blowout right now. Uh, bl I mean, 2-0 is definitely hard to um, – <laughs> it's hard to uh, to come back from in the second half. But, I mean, we've, we saw a lot worse in uh, the first round, that's for sure. Spencer, how about you mind your own business and I'll mind mine. How's that sound? All right. You've had a, a little bit of drama starting to develop here. Uh, at the uh, on this court, um, obviously tensions are pretty high. People are getting tired. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out uh, during the half. I'll run down there and try to figure out uh, what was that with that delay in the middle uh, with that ball dispute, and we'll see what happened there. Let's see over here on uh, the right hand court, uh, being broadcast on the other stream, the Central Michigan versus UK game. Central Michigan taking another point from UK. Uh, four minutes left in the first half, so that puts Central Michigan up four to zero against University of Kentucky. Still seeing, yes, yeah, still, yeah, the Kentucky players looking, yeah, very demoralized, a little disheartened. But for them to make it this far in the tournament, that's a big deal. Kentucky's one of those teams where it seems like every year, every year is kind of a gamble for them. They've had some some years where it seems like they don't win any games, then other years where they seem to put together a very good, very competitive team. Uh, so they're always, they, they're always kind of a dark horse team. You can never really tell what's going to happen with them.
All right, so that is half for Saginaw Valley versus uh, Michigan State. Saginaw Valley up two to zero against them, so we will be changing sides on the court. Give them a quick couple of minutes to get some water. So we will be back with this game. Uh, we'll also, once we come back with that game, we will update on the other games going on. So feel free to hop over to the other live stream uh, to check out. Oh, actually, I'll take that back. Uh, Halftime for Central Michigan and UK as well. So we'll take a quick break, uh, and we'll be back in just a few minutes when the Saginaw Valley-Michigan State game starts back.